Dave, if there was one single barrel available that's actually not available right now, what would it what would it be? Uh who are we stealing from? We're not stealing Dave. What? <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to be talking about our single barrels. Our favorite yeah. single barrels. So you all really like the cast strength video, so we figured we'd do a single barrel video. And if you guys like this video, let us know in the comments, like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. All the good stuff. And if y'all like it a lot, we might even do a bottle and bond. Ooh. That's actually going to be tough. It will be tough, but we're up for the task. I think we could do it means I'm up for the task. Yeah, that's what I always mean. <laughs> that's 100% what I mean. Uh, and, I, I mean, honestly, looking at this list, these are all pretty regularly available. Well, that's that's part of the thing. All of them have to be regular shelfers. Yeah. Disclaimer. It may not be a regular shelfer in your area. Sorry, we're in Kentucky. That is what it is. We're done apologizing. All right, so we're going to go on to the first list. Yeah. And we are going with the Jim Beam... Single barrel, 108 proof, which is actually a really good proof. Oh, it's like a it. sneaky good proof. It is. And I'll be honest with you, I think I saw Jason uh, from Mash and Drum do a review on it. And I was like, I've never, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. If I'm being honest with you, normally if I see Jim Bean, to be honest <laughs> with you guys, I kind of just keep walking. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not trying to disrespect Jim Bean. It just, it tends not to be my profile. But I was like, you know what? I saw the review of it. I'm going to snag yeah. one, see, see what I think of it. Actually, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Super cheap. It's available pretty much everywhere where Jim Beam sold, which is literally, literally everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. So you could go to uh, Iceland and you could probably find Jim Beam. I'm pretty sure the Arctic yeah. and you can find Jim Beam. Yeah. But this is a bottle I bet most of you all have not tried. Give it a shot. It's cheap enough. Give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, number two on the list. <laughs> This might be the most that Jim Beam's ever been on our list. Uh, Knob Creek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's getting there. Yeah, uh, this is Knob Creek 9-year, uh, 120 proof. This is that single barrel. I love these. Yeah, I know. They're they're pretty good. We we really have came around to talking a whole lot about Knob Creek. Yeah. Over the last mm, six months to a year. Yeah. And, I mean, but to be fair, I've always kind of like them a lot just yeah. it's whenever those 15 year single barrels left it's kind of like eh, i just kind of quit buying jim bean yeah but you're right somebody put in the comments uh somewhere about getting one of these and i was like really i was like all right hadn't cracked open it's delicious yeah it's i awesome. have it i have it at my house i bought one uh it was uh a, it was actually a store pick from might have been cox's Either Cox's or Liquor Bond, one of the two. But maybe, yeah. Really, really, really good stuff. Really great. Yeah. Uh, next, and you all know our love for Four Roses. The Four Roses single barrel is yeah. a great introduction to Four Roses. It's kind of hard to get it wrong. Yes. Like, in whatever list, in whatever tier, or whatever conversation you're having, Four Roses single barrel is pretty much right all the time. Yeah. It really is, and and then if you want to go a step up, get the barrel strength. It's you can't really go wrong. Yeah, well, with if two. you can find them, yeah, if you can find them. But this one, available everywhere, four roses is sold. Mm -hmm. You will find this. No joke. What what is it? Thirty five, forty bucks, maybe. I think it's around forty yeah. for us here locally. So good. Yeah. Uh, every single time, it's good. Great. Yeah. Uh, then next on our list is the. Single barrel straight rye from Michter's. Did you have to read it to make sure it was only a single barrel? No, I just had to like I'd get. We're <laughs> like, um, is this well, a single barrel? Well, you know, there's all the different uh, single barrel, the barrel strength rye, the, the barrel strength <laughs> toasted rye, the barrel. You know, snuck it on there. Yeah, he did. It's want to have a little bit of a rye. Uh, so a single there. barrel rye. Uh, the Michter's ryes are really, really good. I think it's the second reason. Okay, so I think Old Forester is your best. Uh, rye that you can pretty much find on every shelf um, out there as like an everyday very common to find then I think it's Michter's I think it's Michter's but that's just me the the old Forster rye wrong, but yeah, it's okay. the old Forster rye profile outside of the single barrel barrel strength rise <laughs> uh, I just I don't like it this rye <laughs> I like a whole lot so they're great yeah uh, and again what a, I mean, what's happening? I was waiting. 
Uh, Jim Bean, call us. We will uh, we will talk about your stuff all the time. We, we're always in in the mood for it. Baker's uh, seven. Uh, this is actually more like eight and a half. <laughs> so yeah. uh, again, this is really good. We just did a review on it. So if you want to see our review on it, it is available on our channel. It really is such a sleeper bourbon. It like, is. It, it just it really yeah. not enough people talk about it. They're always. I've never seen one that was at like just seven years old. They're all older. Yeah. So there's always a little bit more in there. They're about 60 bucks. And man, they're just so gosh dang good. Yes, they're really, really good. I, I totally agree with that. Uh, probably my favorite on the list is uh, John J. Bowman mm -hmm. uh, from uh, A. Smith Bowman uh, Distillery. This is my jam. It's my jam every single, like I could drink this every single day and not get tired of it. Uh, they are always consistent, really good, really. Uh, and if you have never had John J. Bowman, I'd go out and find it. This is $45, $50 if you're in Virginia. It's right at $45. For us, mm -hmm. it's more like $60 to $65. Uh, so this is one of the more expensive. It's like 56 around here locally. Uh, I've, I've not found it for any, anywhere less than $60 uh, I think locally. It's Kroger. Where I get it from. Kroger, yeah. Well, they give you Kroger Plus points, so uh, you know, you, you, every every once in a while, you get a cheapest you, place. You, yeah. Cheapest place to find them. Yeah, here, outside uh, of Virginia, Kroger, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kroger. But if you've never experienced Bowman Brothers, uh, the A Smith Bowman stuff, uh, I, just try it. It's really, really good. You should have it in your collection. Our favorite, poor man E H Taylor single girl. Yes, they are great. Yep, really good. Uh, Oh, Benchmark. Uh, they Benchmark just has to make every list. Yeah, they do. I mean, they got they got a label that says literally everything. Yeah. So, full proof, bottom and bond, top floor. Can't wait to do our 10 favorite top floor bourbons. Bottom shelf. You know, <laughs> whatever. Shelf. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. This yeah. is uh, just a really solid, uh, cheap bourbon it's really good some people will argue that this is actually better than the foolproof i think the foolproof is better than this one but a lot of people are a huge fan of these these are sneaky hard to find apparently i didn't realize that i feel like if you're at like a liquor barn for us liquor barn cox's total wine they tend they have tendency well, to be on the show they, they not, do. not all of them at the same time you'll see a foolproof um and then you won't see a single barrel on there but you'll see some iteration but, of benchmark on but here's on what here's why i don't know i don't know how widespread these are so leave in the comments below if you guys see them or whatever yeah we would yeah area. we definitely would love to that, do that would be very very yeah helpful. yeah for sure uh next on the list is the old evan williams single barrel get it while you can get it while you can uh we keep telling you this every time it makes a list <laughs> every time we talk about it uh, get it while you can because it is going to become a Kentucky exclusive yep. and then you're going to have to visit the fine state of Kentucky or the Commonwealth as some people like to call it and um, the, old the old Commonwealth and uh, come and uh, visit and pick one of these up. Uh, they have gone up in price a little bit but still a great value for uh, the single barrel Evan Williams. It's just really good. Some of these are really, really big hitters. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just good, and uh, I, I, almost every single... I've never had a bad one. I I've, haven't either. I've only ever had a good and great one. And so. I've had some that are that are quite the hitter, yeah. per se. But, the, like, <clears throat> these single barrels are such a good sleeper bottle, no. especially whenever they were less than 30 bucks. They're still a good bottle, like yeah. less than 40 Um, But, really, this is such great, great product. Yeah. That yeah, people is. just don't really know a lot about it. Yeah, so true. Uh, next one on the list is the Single Barrel Select from Jack Daniels. You remember what we've told you. If you've watched our channel at all, if you're not, if you're new to our channel, go back and visit. Anytime Jack Daniels presents itself in this form of a bottle, pick it up. It's good. Yeah. I mean, you all know how much we feel you know, in love about Jack Daniels. These bottles are such a nice step up from just the traditional black label. Yep. And, you know, they're, they, I don't really hear a lot of people talking about them either. Yeah. Like, I hear a lot of people talking about everything else, either good or bad about them, but just not a lot of people just bringing that up. Perfect. So. Again, readily available. Mm -hmm. like, it's a, I've, I've not walked into a liquor store and not seen <clears throat> a single barrel select 
available. Uh, our last one on the list is the Russell Reserve Single Barrel. Uh, you all know our love for Russell, uh, Russell's uh, single barrels. They are great. The only thing that we are always disappointed in now is that they've moved from the $65 range to the $85 range. And it is disappointing that they took that jump, but it is still a great single barrel. You know, I get so frustrated with it. <laughs> like, I love this bottle. I, I love the single barrel picks. And I remember when we went Silver Dollar, and that, man, that Silver Dollar, those picks I'm were still nursing on that one, too. Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. And, but I remember whenever I got them from there, and they were, like, close to, like, 100 bucks, right? Yeah. And I was like, man, that's steep. Yeah. I, get, I, mean, I thought I'm it thinking, was, I thought it's Silver Dollar, they're doing their thing, sure. whatever. And then I went somewhere, and you the I same did, way. too. I went somewhere, and I was like. I think we went Total Wine. Yeah, I was like, oh, my gosh, they're all $85. What yeah. is going on? Yeah, no, it, like, it took this huge jump it really did and i was just like man and and i've heard mixed things i've heard it's not wild turkey it's distributor and i've heard it is wild turkey i don't know what's facts and what's op you know what's what's false information but at the end of the day this is still a great product I it just is wish it was cheaper now if you're listening to us wild turkey or distributor of wild turkey um and you want to move it back down to the 65 five dollar range <laughs> we will be totally happy if you did that i imagine they're selling out quite nicely so they're yeah, not worried about that. probably so all right that's our list please <laughs> tell us what's on your list for the single uh single barrels because uh, i know we probably missed some in here mm -hmm. uh, and we'd love to know what your single barrels are that you uh, are are like your go-to's that are available mm -hmm. and, uh, and and all that good stuff and so uh tell us what that is and all that good stuff and till next time we'll see you we'll see you